you're back. Oh, had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that... Yep. Well, that depends. There any... Man, Trivi! Yep. It's just... I can't... Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not... I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig... You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Welcome home, Triffy. What's it now? Nothing. Oh, sure. So... Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But th Oh, goodness, my name. I'm Triffany Lottablog. I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die, or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma. You might have heard of Veronica Lottablog. An adventure. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love him. Amazing, don't you think? We got painting. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face. No, no, nothing so simple as that. I wanted him to come with me to the... But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even... Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town, and when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent. Didn't we'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grip. Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology let bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to. You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole, especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geo. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in. You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? tonight, huh? Snacksburg is looking pretty busy. That seems like a great time to gather every... Ah, oh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beats sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there. Just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not yellow, I'm pink. There's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. 
Jesus. I, uh, I, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something else? You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. Oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first Grumpuses to make it to Snacktooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills Grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah! Uh. Uh, uh, time out. I gotta use a little grump drum. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats grumpus. Ah, no way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. You're gonna scare me snackless. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Is somebody gonna, gonna check, check for Phil? Oh, oh, Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and, and I came here to calm down. Huh? I, I, I are you feeling okay? <clears throat> well, uh, let's... Sorry about that. What a mess. Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I could get any sleep. Darling, calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. It's the queen of bug snacks. A bug snack bigger than any we've ever seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra, bringing music to our mouths. And once we're dancing to her tune, she gobbles us up. That's precisely right, darling. This story makes no sense. Why would Bugsnax have a monarchy? 
Oh, Wambus, it's just a title. I've seen bug snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Grumpin' Snacks, it's coming for us. I said she's coming for us, yeah, yeah, she's gonna get us all. No need to freak out. It's probably just a, uh, uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wambus. I'm not getting eaten by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Gramble. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Philbo first. <laughs> I think that sound came from the mill. Maybe there's a trail we can follow? Hello? Whoa, it's Philbo. And it's doing better these days, yeah? Uh, snacks for- I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, Whoa. Then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Oh, no. Major, Major bummer, bummer, bro. I can get it anyway. anyway. Can't, Can't stay. stay. I gotta, I gotta, gotta get, get all this stuff, stuff back to Snorpy. Don't, don't, don't you at least wanna- uh, If I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do want- Oh well. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> Um, oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? Oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. Hey, Tiffany, what's going on? Oh, hey, hon. Ooh. going Hey there
on, Charwee. Just follow Papa's pointer. Or, or don't. We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong. Maybe, maybe Sprout can help. I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes. What do you say? Alrighty. Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. Charwee's a good boy, yes he is. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out we love pie. I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just, but that's just the way. You pour every little bit of love you got in. Bum, bum, bum. 